Hello, I am Gepwin. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Mode. We're just leaving Lexington. I found the treasure of... Le that was Lexington, right? Jamaica Plain. Nope. Nope. We're just leaving Jamaica Plain where we found the treasure of Jamaica Plain and it was a baseball bat. But we are heading due south towards a high school that we need to clear out. And we've just come across this partially flooded town, which I don't remember much about. I'm sure there's something here. Actually, there is because I see a town. Ooh, water. Hyde Park. Someone there? Hello, legendary raider. I'm going over here. I am, in fact, currently addicted to buff out. So that's fun. Exactly what I wanted is being addicted to buff out. This place looks like it's filled with raiders and they are all shooting at me. Oh, and there is a uh, junk bot. And there is Brotherhood fighting junk bots. Brotherhood Knight. Why is that Brotherhood Knight marked as evil? Whoa! Look at that go. That's pretty cool. I liked how that robot exploded. Do I hear a... What is going on? Is there a sentry bot in the ceiling? There is. Well, it's a scrap bot. Weird. This is a very strange fight that's happening here. I'm kind of hoping maybe the Brotherhood will help me with these uh, raiders over this way. Oh, they will. Cool. So let's explore this place then, now that the Brotherhood is shooting everyone. Hello, Brotherhood. How do I actually get up here? Oh, there's a grenade. Ah, nice. There's a ramp. The Brotherhood is taking out all the pesky raiders. Kind of for me. I'd like to get out of the water, please. Thank you. That. Ah. So, we've been kind of trying to just pick off a few last quests here. Uh, ah. We've got these two radiant quests for the Brotherhood, which aren't very important, but they sent us down south to a piece of the map we haven't really been too much. So I figured I'd do those. And then I'm going to go check back at the railroad really quick, see if they have anything else for us. And after that... I'd like to get Deacon up so that we can just finish traveling with Deacon. I like to just kind of finish traveling with the companions. Ah! Darn it. Hit the water. I like to finish traveling with the companions. You know, get their perk and everything and then just not have to deal with them anymore. But we might switch out for dance at some point. And do a little bit more of the Brotherhood quest. I can't remember if we had anything after that. Like, is it just... Oops, there's some grenades. I can't remember if it's just Virgil, where we have to go and to the Glowing Sea and find the guy hiding. I can't remember if that's where we are with the Brotherhood. And uh, we need to get Dance up a little higher. But, you know, I just really want Deacon to get his full perk up. Oh, dang. Everything in here is mines. <laughs> There we go. Everything is mines, and I hate it. Sheesh. The world is mines. It's not a vampire. It's it's frag mines. Ah. Okay. Are you done? What did I get? Final shot deals twice as much damage. Okay. I could see that being a little good for single shot weapons. Or maybe very, very low magazine weapons. Other than that, I don't really see the uh, appeal. Raider survivalist. I'm sorry, there's just so much weird stuff going on. I think that the, the radiator might be doing some background noise. It was just like a phone call. A random nothing phone call. As soon as I was going to start, the like exterminator showed up to try to do their weekly thing of the building. But they left before I figured out what was going on. Uh, it's not been a great day to start, but I wanted to just get some recording done. Oh, that guy killed a brotherhood knight. Where did he go? I swear I just saw somebody, a named character. Didn't I? There's the Brotherhood. I got shot. Okay, there's Sloth. Are there just raiders named after the Seven Deadly Sins or something? Sloth is down! There we go. You're not shooting at me, right, Brotherhood Knight? No? Okay. And the stem pack. That was just a named character, nothing much on them. The world. 
Bug her off, Raider veteran. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. I would really like to upgrade that to, um... Wow, that Raider is just standing there. It's very weird. What's up with all these Raiders? Die. There's just... Too much happening. Sheesh. Scudder. Deacon, you good? And here I was wanting to spend the day reading. Ow! Stop it! And then you Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ow. Really? One more still? The trick to this is don't Die. Are we done? I wanted to walk down to that high school. I wanted to just quickly walk down to that high school. This is the this is the vault for the DLC. They're still up there shooting. Sheesh. Alright, let's just get down here. Heal up in the rads. The lovely, lovely rads. Bottle caps are good. Bottle caps are good. Bottle caps are good. Ow. Stop it, frickin'. No, 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 don't just sit here and drink irradiated water. What's wrong with you? There. Sheesh. Gunners. Now then, it looks like... Oh, there we go. There's the rads that I needed. There's my healing. Oh, come on. More? More raiders? Stop it, will you? Wow, you missed five 50% shots in a row. That's just great. At least I am healing very quickly with all this radiation around. Ghoulish, because I'm basically a ghoul at this point. I just uh, don't have the skin infection. Oh, just give me this shotgun. Come on, really? Ow, stop it. What the frick? Ah! Are we done? Yes! Danger over. Okay, I think what happened is the Brotherhood, like, aggroed every raider in the area for miles and miles and miles. Let's just discover Vault 88. I don't think I want to start this quest yet. Let's just, just, can we discover it, please? Thank you. Vault 88 discovered. Uh, I don't even think there's like a... This location was pretty nothing before the Vault 88. I'm pretty sure there's not even like a magazine or anything in here. But I would like to go explore... Ooh, desk fan. I love old world widgets. Worth a fair amount too. I would like to go and check out that place we just cleared out. Also, this should make Deacon like me. Nice. Deacon liked it. Are you? Are we like? Hey. Yeah. How's our relationship? Hey there. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I wanted to make sure things were okay between you and me. If I knew partnering up was so much fun, I would have done this ages ago. Okay, that's it. That was all. Another time. How long until you are at max affinity? Dang it. I did like two things you disliked. I've done a lot of lock picking. And I've done a lot of other things. This is where I killed that sentry bot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's take a quick real, real, real. I was going to take a quick run around that place we just cleared out. But here's the high school that we need to clear. Uh, oh. Look at these ghouls. Look at this pretty color. Duct tape, nice. Ah. Can we just pay you to play dead? Are you done? Thank you. Look at the pretty color on this ghoul. I like it. Now then, is, are they done? I think they're done. Yeah, yeah, they're done. They're dead. 
Everything is fine. Um, what else is around here? Sorry, there was some buzzing. Oh, let's just take a sec. Let's all take a sec and calm. There's a lot of stuff happening. We tried to jump into the game, and of course there was just a million things happening at once. And then there's a million things happening around me in the real world. It's okay. Oh, look at that creepy cat. Hoppy Halloween. Hoppy Halloween. Yeah, it's an evil bunny. Hoppy the Halloween bunny. All right, nothing in... Deacon, nothing in this bus, all right? We're good. Now we need to go inside, and we're going to listen to a lot of interesting stories. Pick up a lot of not very good food. I should uh, eat and drink. All right, we are in this school. Oh, great. A clanking monkey just woke up every ghoul in the place, didn't it? I should have a bat. You know what I've got a lot of is uh, throwables. Whoa! Whoops. You're right, Deacon. That was bad. Hidden now. There we go. Much better. All right. There are just a million audio logs in here. Also, look at this paste. Cafeteria trays. This terminal has some handprints all over it. What we got? Um. Is that it? Wait. Blank? You don't often see blank terminals, but we can pick up food paste. Yeah. Food paste. It's the pastiest of paste. Oh, I'm over encumbered. Um, but. Okay. Buff out addiction minus strength now. Great. But I can eat some, uh, some radstag. I should be fine. Got grilled radstag. I need to get some addict doll. I have plenty of it at home. Got lots of addict doll at home. Just none here. This place has a lot of empty bottles for a school. I mean, I suppose not if this is a teacher's area. What is that? Okay, door. This should probably be the principal's office. This might be the principal. Hard to know. Expert safe. Oh no, that's probably the principal. Hello. PA system? Principal's terminal. Can we unlock the safe? Documents. Again, I thank you for your school's willingness to participate in the Nutritional Alternative Paste Program, NAP for short. You and your students are doing a service to this country by helping us push the limits of our knowledge of food and nutrition science during the period of this program. Nothing but nap should be served to the students. No outside food should be tolerated on school grounds. We will be setting scientists periodically to observe reactions to the nap and ensure proper testing conditions. Non-compliance will result in funds revoked. Ooh. Please make sure your, your facility and students remain obedient. So they are getting paid to test this food stuff. I mean, so far it looks better than cafeteria lunches I've encountered in, in public schools. Tech document. I have so many things to turn into the Brotherhood, it's not even funny. School announcements, October 18th. Good morning, teachers and students. It is another great week here at Suffolk County Charter School. I hope everyone is getting their costumes together for the annual Halloween festival. I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that no outside food is to be brought on campus as of this week. This goes for faculty as well as students. We have received generous donations for our implementation of the Nutrition Alternative Paste Program. We owe our benefactors strict adherence to the rules they have set forth. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson, signing off. They want everyone to be so excited about food paste. It's like when school was like, hey, we have pizza. It's limp and tasteless and cardboard, but pizza. Yeah, that's all they need to do. They need to put this on a tray, like in a round, make it look round and a little flat. And 
everyone would just think it was p school pizza, because no one would know the difference. I'm in. Protect drawn control. Actually, you know what? Stop it. Back. Load holotape. Protect drawn. Override. Protectron override program. Nice. Alliance parameters. Eject. Protectron control. Personality mode. I'm gonna go law enforcement. And nope, activate. Activate. Powering up. There we go. Protectron on duty. Well done, Protectron. Now this thing is permanently nice to me. Because I hacked it. Is that all? Let's grab out my shotgun. Good old shoddy. Let's just see what else we find. Chained on the other side. Chained on the other side, you say. Not on this side where there's no chains. I, I appreciate the clarification. I think this protectron is stuck. Move along, citizen. Okay, it doesn't like me. Bathroom? Anything? Like, how has the food paste affected the bathrooms? I feel like it's a myth. Ooh, lots of jet. I feel like it's a missed opportunity to not make the bathrooms just covered in pink everywhere. Old pre-war pink, just paint the inside of the urinals pink. Everything, just everything pink in, because like, you know, that food paste is not going to do good things to you. All the bathroom jokes Bethesda likes to put in games, and nothing in the school bathroom about food paste. I'm disappointed in you. Oh. Plastic bowls. Nothing good, nothing good, nothing good. Burnt books. Caution. Caution. Goals. Anyone got some holy water? There you are. I heard a, um... Traveling with you ain't there we dope. go. I'll say that. I heard a lunchbox open when I threw that Malatov in there. That's not even worth picking up, boss. It doesn't... You, you don't even know what's not worth picking up. Crystal? Crystal not worth picking up? How dare you? How dare you, Deacon? Ah, there was the... That. Economy Wonder Glue. So many kids are basically, oh. like... Loading up or loading off? Eating Economy Wonder Glue. It seems to be... Really seems to be a thing. Dang it. This guy is carrying too many things for me. I can't offload anything. I think I just have to eat some of my... Some of my hermit crab. Where's my grilled hermit crab? There we go. Plus two strength. That should get me back up to a good carrying capacity. Food paste. Mr. Davison's Terminal. Compliant letter draft. Principal Hudson, I'm sorry to ask, but there but where has the integrity of this school the integrity of this school gone? Forcing all teachers and students to concern nothing but flavorless pink goo is inhumane and demoralizing. Food is an avenue of socialization for students allowing my growing minds and they are growing restless of the past. Growing restless of the past. Oh, I guess I don't know. I don't. That's. I get the turn of phrase, but I don't. I don't think that makes sense as a sentence. If nothing else, I'm sure you have noticed the growing rate of visits to your office for misbehavior. It also almost swears everyone seems a bit pinker after a week of eating this stuff. Please, I ask that we terminate the mistake of an experiment and find an alternative funding opportunities for the school, Mr. Smith English Department. Now, they mess, mixed up the computers, because this is not Mr. Smith English Department. This is David Hudson. Um, 
pink handprint department. Seems to be, be what was being taught. Well, these rooms are marked. They have departments, so this should be like math class. That's how schools work, right? I haven't been in a uh, high school in a long time. Time to earn our paychecks. I'm getting it seems we have a tail. It's not a tail, Deacon. It's a ghoul. Do you know how ghouls work, Deacon? Do you do you know ghouls? They're not spies, you know. Can never resist a death fan. I'm ready for them. So, new business model. There we go. We team up with a that joke's getting a little bit old, going, Deacon. Right? Little old. Uh, that's it, right? Yeah, there's some blocked off desks there. Drinking fountains there. Looks like janitor died doing what he loved. Sweeping. Here. Ooh. Don't look, but I... You almost got away. Here is the actual cafeteria. <laughs> Where this stuff originates. I heard another lunchbox. You know, you're really Woo. good at this. Too good. I don't know why there's bobby pins up here. Alright, what we got? School announcements, October 20th. Back in business. Good morning, teachers and students. It is a fabulous Wednesday here at Suffolk County Charter School. The Glee Club is having their seasonal bake sale today. Stop by and show your support so we can send our team to the regional. Remember, actual baked goods are forbidden on school grounds, so they will be selling colorful cups for your food paste. Oh, also, we will be having a school assembly during second period tomorrow on the dangers of strangers by Jangles, the moon monkey himself. Once again, we would like to thank our benefactors from the NAPP program for allowing us to have such a big star come and speak to you kids. We owe our benefactors strict adherence to the rules they have set this forth. This reeks. This is Principal Hudson, signing off. Have a great day. So here is the machine. Apparently you would put something in here from these buckets, possibly. It would go into this machine, get turned into paste, and sent out to the dispensers. Where students would just glop paste into a tray. Ugh. You know, this is the thing with weird fake foods. I've been thinking about this a lot last few days. Food replacement things. Oh, why is the music still playing all this stupid triumphant -y music stuff? And basement. Every time they do these food things, like... Replacement food seems to be always designed, and I'm not just talking about in fiction, but also in fiction. So it's just as unappetizing as possible. Like, somebody at work was talking about that Soylent stuff. And he said that he got, like, a Soylent shake. And it, it did as advertised. He said that, yeah, it did fill me up. I didn't, like, I drank it. I was full. Felt like I had a full meal. It's what it's supposed to do. But he also said, like, it tastes aggressively like nothing. And it's, like, also even, like, tried mixing fruit into it. And it somehow made, like, the strawberries taste like nothing as well. Ugh. Noisy. And then in, in things like... So anytime there's a uh, okay, Are you yeah, trying to can't run. can't run. Dang it! What do I need to drop? Do I have anything that like is not a legendary weapon? That leg is not Someone? Come on, worth much. That. Okay, that leg's not worth very much. And every time there's like fake alternative food or something in in fiction, it's just always like this. It's like oh look how gross, 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 gross. Alternative food. But you can make food, you can make alternative food products taste fine. Then thinking yes. about some things where like, 
half the point of the like gross alternative food is that it's made of bugs don't mean to make you nervous, but and then people figure well. out that it's made of bugs and it's like oh my god this food's made of bugs or they're like oh i have to eat bugs okay i'm just carrying too many things apparently there that was all the guns that deacon was just randomly hoarding uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, it's gonna explode. It's gonna explode. Back before I met you, I'd go whole days without massacring I a bunch of I somehow got insomnia. Honest. From being on fire. Maybe I have nightmares? Ooh, grab it. Okay. I think it's one of the only valuable things in here, honestly. So there's this whole thing of, like, in certain fiction things it's like oh the food's made of bugs and it's the worst thing ever bugs oh my god and it's just such a weird western take on everything because other countries eat bugs a lot it's fine like no one cares people in the u.s care a lot like there's some weird european thing about not eating insects, and I don't know why. And don't think I can pick this. It's weird that it's such a thing. I see a glowing rad roach. I don't see a way into that part of the building, so I guess I don't get to go in there because it's locked. I don't see anything interesting in there. At least, what's in there? We got fun time incoming. Anything in there? Anything in that room? I don't know. Anyway, no point in speculating because I can't open it. I don't see anything. Hopefully nothing fun. Where was I going? Right. I was hoping they'd all this direction. Well, I mean, they are sort of all dead. They're ghouls. That one's chained as well. Where, oh where? The last ghoul that I need to kill for this quest is in there. I swear there was more tapes. I think that's my protector on. Yeah, there's nothing here. There's another dead teacher. A lot of dead teachers. Weird, I could have sworn there were more hollow tapes around. Oh well. I love the idea that the bake sale they did was just decorative food cups. I think that's pretty fun. Oil! Oh, oil canisters. Also, what's this about? Huh. Random suitcase in a crawl space? What's going on here, school? All caps, there's a hidden... Okay, expert safe, and I don't see a computer, so... Yeah, that's probably it. There is a chemistry station. I could make drugs. And caltrops. That's about it. All right, let's go. Drugs and caltrops. This looks like the school library. Yep. Oh, hi. It's fighting time. Stop it. I'm gonna go over here. One ghoul down. Just. Oh, there's the glowy, 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 glowy. Hi. Oof. Ah. Do not like that. Also, I know it would require a lot of new textures. Kitty prison? Eh. I like it. They should have made that, like, very pink. Like, a aggressively bright pink glowing ghoul. Ooh, nice. Unstoppables. Permanent gain 1% chance to, join to avoid all damage. School announcements. 22nd. Happy Friday all. The NAPP program launched this week with success, but not without problems. I hate to have to throw away your mother's carefully packed lunches, but I am afraid we must put our foot down on this issue. I am assured all of you will get used to the flavor of the also, I have been informed that flavor varieties will be on their way pending continued success of the program. How exciting! To those complaining, I will repeat. 
There are absolutely no psychological or physical side effects from participation in the NAPP. Any observed effect is assuredly psychosomatic and possibly related to a lack of trust in the government. Remember, our participation in the NAPP not only helps our school, but in the long run benefits our nation. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson signing off. I just love that. <laughs> if you don't like our experimental food program, you're a communist. <laughs> now then, I am nowhere near a settlement. Like, there's my settlement down here in Murkwater. But I'm nowhere near an actual, like, like settlement with people in it. Because I need to sell, like, a bunch of stuff. There aren't very many cities in this game where you can sell things, to be honest. There's Diamond City and there's, like... There's, there's a few things right up here. There's, like, Bunker Hill, Diamond City, Good Neighbor. Those are these cities. Everything else is a settlement or something you set up. And there's a few little factions around, like the Atom Cats should be somewhere. Where are the frickin'... Like, where are the Atom Cats anyway? I feel like I should be close to the Atom Cats. Over here someplace. Maybe we should head over here and see if we can find something. Also, this island is a settlement. I forget about that. All right, let's go up to... Let's look at Hyde Park really quick. Go up to Jamaica Plain and go over here and see if we can... Adam Cats. Because I know they're here, and they're cool. Ooh, viable blood sample. Deacon is just full of negativity. I feel like every time I pick up anything, it's making him dislike me. Ooh, ghoulish turn to feral ghoul. Nice, there's a friendly ghoul around here somewhere. I'm glad about that, I guess. Now then, let's just get up to here. This place is cleared, so we shouldn't have to worry too about raiders or anything. I just want to see if there's, like, you know, a wasteland survival guide or something that we missed when we were running around trying not to get killed. So, this place is pretty small, and I don't see anything particularly interesting. You can always look it up later. I do want to get all the magazines. I think there's only like one magazine in the entire game you can miss and it's in the Institute and I know where it is, so I'll have to get that later. Well, we are heading back up. Come on! Mines! Why? Why is everything mines? Just give me these bottle caps. I'm sick and tired of triggering a mine every time I step anywhere. Why are there so many mines? Now, I would like to head east and just see if we can fill out anything on this part of the map, because I swear there might be something over here that I've possibly missed. So those, those two little spits of land certainly look like they might have something on them, don't they? It's the only thing I'm basing this on, honestly. I, I'm pretty sure that we have not found the Adam Cat's garage, or there's another little settlement around here that's tied to a bunch of quests later in the game. And that's what I'm basing all this on, because I cannot, for the life of me, remember where any of those things are. There's a red rocket. I think that might be something up there. Nope, okay, that's the Boston High School and things. Oh well. I do, at the end of this, want to be able to head back up to um, Hangman's Alley, because, well, we just haven't been back there in a long time and we are carrying way too much junk on me. Okay, I thought that was gonna happen. Ah, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Smilerx, Smilerx, Smilerx. Good? Nope. Not good. Hunter dead. Okay. Whoo. Well done. Well done. Well, there's a vertibird. Hello, verty bird. Pretty verty bird. Birdie bird? Pretty bird. Where are we? Okay, this is... This is what I, where I thought. Wait, what are they shooting at? Adam's Cat's Garage. We found it. Wonderful. I love these guys. Ow! Now that's just annoying. 
Yeah, that is annoying. Frickin' Colonel Gutsy randomly appears out of nowhere, shoots me in the back. Ugh, I hate these things. Frickin' minigun. And what are these guys doing? They're gonna all crash into each other. Is that it? Is there anything else on that stupid little floating platform that's gonna randomly attack me? What about you two? What are you two circling? Paladin, Paladin, Super Mutant. That's it. They're fighting a legendary Paladin, so... I don't like the Super Mutant's chances over there. Let's just go talk to... these guys. I just want to talk to the Atom Cats. Hello. Ooh, hi there. Who are you? I bought. Whatever. Look at these guys. Oh, power. Free power armor frame. It's not marked as stealing. Um. I feel like there should be more people here. Poetry night. Uh, so, uh, I'm Rowdy. And. I, uh, I wrote this po poem. You're doing fine. What's it called? Trick to this is it's called die. An Ode to My Hammer. You got this, Rowdy. A an Ode to My Hammer, so heavy and nice. Oh, I I'm sorry, I can't do this. Whoa, everybody stop. Oh, Rowdy, come back. Aw, Rowdy didn't Someone like Poetry Night. The this place is weirdly empty. But there's a bobblehead. Doesn't count as, as stealing. Yes. Unarmed. I mean, I'm never going to use unarmed. Hello there, Zeke. Zeke. Hey, Nosebleed. Just where do you think you are? This is Adam Cat territory. Okay. I didn't mean any trouble. We can't be seen with some nerd from Nowheresville. <laughs> we got a reputation to uphold. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. Sure. Yeah, now we're cooking. Now, let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. Now, these guys are just power armor obsessed, and I love it. Think of buying from the cats as a donation towards a more cool commonwealth. What do you say? Yeah, you, you're a barter? Yes. I'll take a look. Sure. You're a barter. Store. You, you are a store. What do you have? Do you have anything good that I want? No. No, you don't. Nope, definitely not. I think the other person has some, like, unique power armor stuff, but I don't want any of this. I want to get rid of some of the stuff that I've just been carrying for no reason. Which I think Deacon has. Alright, this is that stupid chest piece I've been carrying around for ages. It weighs 23. But it's also worth quite a lot. It's like half of his, most of his caps. Now then, Roxy. <coughs> Where's it at, kitty cat? Just passing through. Oh, well, if you want the lay of the land around here, you just let me know. Can you help me get the lay of the land of this place? Can I? I'll tell you what's what with the Adam Cats. Rowdy handles the power armor mods. She's also the coolest chick I know. Usually hangs out in the garage. Blue Jay does sales. Anything to buy or sell that isn't power armor, he's got it covered. Um, let's see. Duke and Johnny D keep their peepers open for bad news cats who want to mess with our digs. I'm almost done. Zeke's the boss. Started this whole outfit. And well, I just dare you to find a cat cooler than Zeke. And then there's me, the newest Adam cat, Roxy. Got it all memorized, Jack? Sure. Names. I can totally remember people's names. That's like a, a normal human thing that I can do. Definitely. Now, where in the world is this Roxy person we're supposed to talk to? Also, this power armor disappeared. That's interesting. That's that's a duke. Hello, duke. Wow, that's a nice gun, duke. 
Oh, nuts. Poetry night is coming up again. I'm not ready. These guys are very odd. So, I don't know where... Roxy is. I'm, I'm supposed to get a quest from her. I think she's usually at that store. I have no idea where... She actually is. Oh, there, though, is a hot rodder magazine. Nice. Nice. Unlocked a nice paint scheme. That green shark thing. Adam Cat's Poetry Night. All right, cats. I call this one Metal Heart. <clears throat> metal legs. Metal arms. Metal heart. Tool of war. Tool of peace. Tool of art. I get into my suit, and I strut through the wastes. No fear. Untouchable. The flames on my suit burning, rising, glowing. The flames are hot, but I am cool. I walk. I run. I ride. My hands are strong. I am a man. No. More than a man. Because, man, I have a metal heart. Thank you. There we go, Rowdy. Now this thing is now this thing is stealable. Okay, you just we're just wandering around in Rowdy. your power armor, I guess. Rowdy? I saw you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? Here to help. Tops. From the looks of it? I'd say boss man thinks you have a little Adam cat in you. Wants all Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. I have what it takes. We'll see. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of Warwick for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at Warwick. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. Ew. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. Okay. No problem. The Warwick folks might be squares, but they are nice enough. We help them out with our skills. They give us food. Works out real nice. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. Okay, so don't tell them before I fix their pump. Just walk in, mess with their water pump, and then tell them that we've done it. Sounds like a great plan. All right, where's this Warwick place? I think it's over here. For some reason, I don't have a quest. Um, is it in Misk? Yes, it's a Misk. And it is right over there. Now, I can walk around? I guess I should. Let's walk around. I was going to just swim straight across, but we haven't explored this area much, so let's see what's over here. And still these vertebrates floating around. Makes me deeply uncomfortable. Since I know I saw some super mutants over here. My invisible gun. If that's a Brotherhood commander, I guess the Brotherhood has just taken over this building now. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. Sheesh, they don't even collect the stuff they kill. Wasteful. Wasteful, 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 Brotherhood. Whoa, don't shoot that thing in here. I'm getting away from you and your indoor rocket launcher. Okay, mines. More mines. Can never escape the mines. What in the world are you going on over here? Is this Quincy? Isn't this Quincy? Didn't we clear out Quincy? Yeah, what in the world are they shooting at over here? We cleared out Quincy not too long ago. Should be pretty done. Oh well, this appears to be that Warwick place that we're supposed to get to. Very, very close by. It's far away from literally everything else in the world. Poseidon Energy. Ooh, Poseidon Energy. This is not Warwick, this is Poseidon Energy. 
Huh. Here and shit. Raider Psycho. Psycho Raider. Where'd you get to, Psycho Raider? There we are. Four times. Headshot. Raider Veteran. I want to do the same to you, please. Yeah, there you went. Come on, come back. When you turn up, you're dead. Come back. Come back. Come back, I say. Oh, there's Raider Scum over there. Not not really come on helping. Come on. I'll make it nice and quick. Hold still. Trust me. Oh. Scared, huh? You should be. I feel like there's something here that I want. Bobblehead or something. I also feel like this feels like a quest. Ah, oh, great. They saw me. I guess we'll head up. Shotgun already. For close situations. Why did I say it like that? That's weird. This is for the close combat. Because I don't want to, you know be shooting them all eh, with my explosive gun when I'm this close to them. Alright, now I can use my explosive gun. There. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I was just trying to reload, thank you. Have a battle cry. Yeah, Deacon, you can have a battle cry. It's. So, Give me a second, I'm changing. Up, uh -huh. you That's your battle cry, Deacon. We'll burned. This, right? Burned, Deacon. You burned. Antimicrobial. See, the thing, there's like all these herbal antidotes or whatever that they added for survival mode. But. You can't use them because, so like that herbal antimicrobial or whatever, it seems like a good idea because it can help you not get sick, but you'd have to take it like any time that you thought you might get sick, which is pretty much any time you're doing anything, so I don't know. There's not a lot of point to it. Overflow access. Maintenance offline, door access offline. Huh, so... I can't get into the place from up here, is what they're saying. I can get more rounds for my gas gun, though. Hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed in this building. Or what. Let's see. Oof. Haha, <laughs> made it. I don't think this puts me anywhere special, though. I'm pretty sure I was just over here. And Deacon fell. Because, of course, he did. At least I don't have to heal him this time, looks like. Yeah. Huh. I don't see a actual door anywhere. Oh, there it is. Master locked terminal. Pump access offline. Door access offline. So I must have to come here for a quest later or something, because it's really not, does not want to let me in. Not even a little bit. Oh, there's a broken lighthouse. Okay, over there, I think, is the Warwick Homestead. I am hungry, thirsty, tired, sick, and addicted to stuff. Every single thing that could possibly be wrong with me is wrong with me. Oh, this is that boat. Yeah, this is a boat. This is a very sad boat. Full of raiders. Sad raider boat. Oh yeah, we should do... Look at this. Look at this. Let's find a bed. I hope there's a bed over here. Whoa, what exploded? I don't know what exploded, but see, look at these barnacle things. This place is covered in, like, radioactive barnacles. And, uh... Mylerks. They were shipping 
fusion cores. Either that or this is part of the, um, this might be part of the ship's, like, power system. Soft shell, soft shell. There we go. Can take out a couple of Mylurks over there. I got hit with radiation, but it's no biggie. I'm going to heal that. I hear, okay, there's more of these barnacle things that shoot radiation at you. First time I came through this, like, I have, there's very little indication that these barnacle things shoot radiation at you at all. It's weird. Now, up top, I should get my gauss gun out because I believe this place is filled with ghouls. Oh. We're sucking up rads here. All right, those are already dead myelurks. Yeah, already dead myelurk. There's the sentry gun. Is that the only sentry gun? How do I get through here? Right, there's... This is a very well-fortified boat. This is one of the best fortified locations in the entire game. Oh, good. Here's a terminal to... Oh, expert terminal. And you, you hear the, like... These are all marked as raider veterans and raiders. They are ghouls. But they are speaking... Uh, don't mean to make I forget what stuff. now. A Nordic language. But they're they're speaking a actual language. We have a tail. And basically, dang it. Eh, I've seen this thing before. Like if you actually translate what they're saying, they're just telling you to leave them alone. They're like, get off our ship, leave us alone. And that's what they're yelling at you. But they are hostile. They attack anyone who gets close to their ship, probably because they've had, like, a language barrier happening for hundreds of years. Since they're all ghouls, pre-war crash ghouls. But they still are attacking people. Hey, that's my trick. There's a raider. Nice. Let's see, there's a turret over there somewhere that's shooting fire rounds. Ow. Nice! Nope, uh, shotgun. Oh, that's a gate. I didn't realize that this was a gate. I would have just never tried to open that. Where is this stupid... There we go. Sentry thing down. Let's get that the shotgun for ease of exploration. I do hear a lot of things beeping at me. So this is just a very, very sad boat, all in all. Now, I did level again. I leveled again. Um, I took the last of the Sandman perks. I don't know what to take <laughs> now. We've done most everything, honestly. We've done most of the things that I want. I could sneak get my sneak up a little bit. I don't sneak that often anymore. Let's just keep going up Black Widow, because it will give me... It's one of the last things I can do that will give me just extra damage. I'm very thirsty, apparently. Uranium fever is gonna copyright. Uranium fever. Eh. There we go. All dead. I just saw this thing a bit ago that... Um, as part of the Fallout 76 kind of press thing they were doing. Bethesda, like, hosted a showing of the Atomic Cafe movie. Which is... I don't know. I like, I like that movie. Atomic Cafe is a really good movie. They just did, like, a remaster for, the, for like, some preservation stuff. You should check it out if you haven't. I don't know. It's like showing around recently. You should be. You might be able to find a showing without too much trouble. But also, like, let's just quick save. It's it's very much. It's made of like old, like government propaganda tapes and things. It's just it's 
edited together out of like old government propaganda tapes and and nuke stuff so the whole thing is very about how like scary uh nuclear war is and some like really horrifying experiments that the government did on people and other things around that time and it seems I get the thematic connection, but it seems really kind of messed up to to show it at like a Fallout press event. Help defend Visitor Center. Dang, why is everything attacking Far Harbor? That's the worst. Security's Expert terminal. Tight. Great. Anyway, the reason that I came up here, I aside from being able to sleep in a bed is right over here on the edge of the boat. Agility bobblehead. Perfect. Agility permanently increased by one. Now, let's leave. Press, uh, Preston. Uh, Deacon. And what did we learn today? Yeah. Okay. Not fine. Not even going to mention it. The number of times you get like randomly stabbed. Oh, right. Uh, Deacon. 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 You're carrying a bunch of. Look alive. <laughs> Let's see what I got in my pockets. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to know. You're carrying a lot of stuff that I don't want, like this shotgun, and this irradiated pistol. This quick draw flat man is worth a lot, but. You know, let's just grab that hunter's chest piece and let's see if I can sell to Cricket here. Cricket, got a hankering for melting face? Then I'm your girl. Yep, Cricket, I would like to barter with I'll you. I'll take a look, sure. And there they are. Did your heart skip a beat too? Now then, I've got some uh, legendary weapons to sell you. And maybe a chest piece. There we go, and I may as well get some more... Ammo. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's mine. I thought she had a new legendary thing, but it was just my legendary thing. Ammo. I am running a bit low on shotgun shells, so I will take all of those. Thank you. Have a good day, little crazy person who makes your guards wander around naked. I don't want to know. Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> Wark Homestead. So you all aren't standing around creepily at all. No, no, not even a little bit. Okay, let's see about fixing that. Okay. The pump is not in here. The pump is in this little side shack. I should not have entered the gate. Side shack, side shack. Yep, there we go. Install the pump part. Ah, that was easy. Now let's talk to June. June? Jane? June bug? Deacon, what are you doing? Anyway. These are just... Oh, all the Warwicks. Hello, June. <clears throat> I saw you working in the pump shed over there. Are you with the Atom Cats? Sure. Meow. Oh, um... I'll take that as a yes. So is that pump all fixed up now? Sure thing. Yep, should be all fixed. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Maybe someday this will do the farm some good. The Adam Cats have been such a great help to us. You must be hungry. Here, take some food back with you. And please, send Zeke my thanks. Food! Food! All these beds are owned. All these beds are owned. So since I just completed that, I got some food. Got some food. Actually, I need to eat some food. I'm going to stop saying it like that. I'm a, I'm sorry. Which gives me an opportunity to find and look at... Food paste. HP, endurance. Hmm. All right, let's eat something else so that I can see what this actually is like. Dang it, where's my grilled, where's like my cooked myelic meat or something? 
Food paste. What does it actually do for me? Plus one endurance. Great. 50 HP. No rats. So it's actually not bad. It's, it's actually a decent food stuff. Now, we can see this boat in the daytime. It's a cool boat. And now that it's empty of all the poor people who was just suffering from a language barrier problem and possibly some racism following the war. But, you know, it's okay. I've killed them all now. Problem solved. I'm just going to come up here and use their bed to save because I can't save at the Adam Cats and I don't want to have to do that pump conversation again. Okay, down we go. Let's go just glance at that lighthouse. I don't think it's anything, but I'd be interested to see if there's anything over there. Like a my lurk. Soft shell my lurks everywhere. Ooh, more viable blood samples. How many of those things do I have now? Sheesh. Can I see? Is it in my misc? I can't remember. Viable blood sample. 49. I have 49 viable blood samples. If I find one more, I'll have an even 50 to bring her. If I don't get the, um... Nope. Deacon idolizes me. Excellent. He loves it when I drink dirty water, apparently. Did we finish up all the Mylurks? Uh, Deacon. Anyway, I want to explore up here. Let's shotgun. Let's shotgun. Just in case a Mylurk jumps out at me from the top of the stairs or something. When, the, when my companions start idolizing me seems weirdly random. Oh, nice. Look at this view. Ooh, I like it. Oh, wow. Nice. Look at that. You can see the city. Tiny, tiny little city. Ooh, nice. And there's the... That's actually the island. That's an island settlement that we need to get at some point. Oh, someone's house. Expert safe, but rounds. Can't open this. There's no notes or anything. Alarm clock. Oh. Poor girl. You know what? Let's quick save. This looks like deep water. Woo! Ah, oh, yeah. Nice. Also, a boat. I said a boat. Let me jump. Straight out of the water. There we go. People talk about how weird and unrealistic the jumping in video games is. And I don't disagree, in general. There's something over here. What is this? There's a flag. Does that mean it's friendly? Or does that mean it's filled with my alerts? Probably both. Deacon idolizes me, so I have to try to talk to him soon. There he is. He's over there. Let's just, uh... I don't see any my alerts buried here. Burnt book, cap stash, grenades. And fish. Okay, fishing spot. This appears to be it. Well done. Nice little random fishing place. Where did Deacon get to? Deacon? Deacon? Here, Deacon, Deacon, Deacon. Here, boy. Where'd you go? Um, okay, there you are. You just, uh, we're over here for some reason. I should be able to talk to you now. Look alive. Hey, I, I got something important to say. I really appreciate you putting up with my bullshit. Truth is, it's been a long time since I, I've had a friend. I'm a liar. Everyone knows it. I make no secret of it. Because the truth is, I'm a fraud, to my core. When I was young, a hell of a long time ago, I was, well, scum. 
I was a bigot. A very violent bigot. Go on. I ran with a gang in University Point. We called ourselves the UP Death Claws. For kicks, we'd terrorize anyone we thought was a synth. We kept egging each other on. Started with some property damage, graduated to some beatdowns. Then, inevitably, a lynching. The Claws leader was convinced we'd finally found and killed the synth. Looking back, I'm not so sure. I'll withhold judgment until you finish. Thanks. So I turned my back on my brothers, broke all contact. Time passed, I became a farmer, if you can believe that. Then, one day I found someone. She saw something in me I didn't know was there. Barbara, well, she was... she just was. Leaving the Death Claws took a lot of courage. Leaving wasn't free. They took it out on my sad hide. But by the time I met Barbara, they'd moved on. We were trying for kids, eking out a living. Then one day, it turns out my Barbara, she was a synth. She didn't know that. I certainly didn't. I don't know how the Death Claws found out, but there was blood. Shit. I'm sorry. I don't remember much clearly after that. I know I killed most of the Claws. I must have made a big impression. The railroad contacted me, figuring I'd be sympathetic, seeing that I lost my wife. And, well, what I did afterwards. That's a hell of a story. Yeah. It was no picnic to live through, either. I don't even know why I lie anymore. But I can't tell the truth. Everyone, Tom, Des, you, even that asshole Carrington, they deserve to be on the railroad. I don't. I'm everything wrong with this whole fucking commonwealth. You're the only friend I got. I don't deserve you being okay with this. Hell, I'm not even asking for it. But I figured you should know. Uh, I want to support him. I'm not sure what that's going to do, because I shouldn't just say it's okay. Everyone's got a past. The important thing is you're trying to make up for it. I'm still on your side. I'm not the hugging type. So, yeah. Good talk. Good. Cloak and dagger perk. That gives me an extra 20% on sneak attacks. 20% damage. So now we should have 4.2 on our sneak attack criticals, which is nice. I'm glad I like the whole you've moved on thing. I don't know. Most people with that kind of bad history like if they've done things and feel guilty parts of them don't actually don't want you to forgive them people are very quick to go like oh you couldn't have known you didn't do anything wrong and da 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 and it's it's like an okay sentiment you want to make people feel better but there's this problem where like people know when they did something wrong he talks about it like he did something wrong and he regrets it so you just saying that discounts it completely if you just go oh don't worry it's fine, you've made up for it, or you couldn't have known, or the circumstances forced you, or whatever. It, it discounts the fact that they know that they did something they re regret, and that they feel was wrong. And if you don't feel it was wrong, then you're actually just not agreeing with their viewpoint of the world in, in general. So it can create some conflicts there. So I'm glad they didn't go for that. I, I don't like how every single person has a wife who was brutally murdered to make some sort of point about how dark their backstory is. That's getting a little tiresome. Oh well, let's turn in this quest to the Adam Cats and hope we don't run into a situation where we die and have to re-idolize Deacon again. You think you have what it takes to be one of the cats? Where did she go? Now she's gone again. Uh, why can she not hold still? Rowdy. Oh, all done. <laughs> yep. You're gonna have to give me something harder than that. That was just the first test, Buster. Don't get big-headed. <laughs> that place was a real dump, huh? Thanks for taking care of our business there. June sends her thanks. Ooh, that June is a doll! And her Myrler cakes are the most far-out thing I have ever tasted! Just so you know, I will be checking your work. The cats won't take credit for shoddy craftsmanship. 
So she had the skills to spiff up the Warwick pump. <laughs> Should we rustle her jeans with something else? What the? Gunners! Gunners! Adam Katz, let's stomp! Uh, I need a vantage point. I can get up top here. Excuse me. There was a gunner captain over there. Where, where, where? Gunner captain, let's take the 50. Why not? Nice, headshot. That's Deacon. Gunner commander. That's a grenade. Where are all the gunners? I cannot see, like, anything. Okay, everything's blowing up. I don't like it. Oh, he used a uh, stem pack. Interesting. Stop it. Ooh, a Sultron. I want to be very careful, because I would like to not shoot any of the cats with an explosive weapon. There we go. Sniping is better when people are in groups. Surrounding enemies, and you don't want to shoot any of the people. Johnny D, Rowdy, Duke. Okay, they're all firing off that way, but I don't see any of the gunners. Why did they all have to attack in the middle of the fog? Nice, defend the gunners. Talk to Zeke. Ooh. Bingo. Plasma fused automatic combat rifle. Not bad. Really not great, thorough. but not bad. You know that? Hello there, Zeke, my boy. Your arm broke. Zeke. Ugh, gunners. Those wet rags keep trying to get their mitts on our suits. But you, Jack? Ho <laughs> ho ho! You slayed! Because of you, we didn't lose a single cat today. That's a lot of armor, though. Whatever you say. Well, I say you are righteous, out of sight, and with it, and an official friend of the Adam Cats. You have full reign of our digs. And, uh, you know, I can get you hooked up with a little discount around here. Yeah. Nice. Finally... The holy grail for anyone who knows what's cool in the Commonwealth. Your very own Adam Katz jacket. Wear it well, Jack. Adam Katz jacket. Yeah. Nice. So, Zeke's jacket and jeans. It's got the Adam Katz logo on it. You can't see it. You can kind of see it. There it is in the folded bit. Eh, I'll have to put that on a mannequin when we get home. Now, where did... uh? Rowdy. Rowdy? Yeah, right? I need to... Rowdy, you want to spiff up your power armor? You've come to the right place. The Adam Cats have the most far-out mods this side of the apocalypse. I'll take a look. Sure. What you got? You have Adam Cat Jack and Jeans. Adam Cat Custom Paint Job. It is ludicrously expensive for what it is, but you know what I've got here? You know what I've got? Be safe. Just Dig it. Sure. Give me that quick draw fat man that is worth 2,000 caps and is way too heavy to carry around. Also this death claw gauntlet. Sure, I can help you out. That I don't really want. Rowdy, you know what fires me up? A new piece for my suit. How about it? I've got a few minutes to browse. Now let's see. You can get Adam Cat's T60 armor that's pre-painted. And let's see what can so apparel is just the armor, and T fifty one. Ooh, I can get a full set of T fifty one here if I need it, which I do need eventually. Ooh, I just like to collect power armor, and I shouldn't. Anyway, I can get an Adam Katz custom paint job, which is a unique paint job. And you know what I want to do? I want to get rid of all these extra weapons that I've been carrying around for no reason, like this plasma infused combat rifle. And this quick draw fat man. There. Let's pay us for a lot of it. I've got so many caps right now. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything that I could possibly ever want to get rid of. Well, there's a lot of... I'm carrying way too much, like, ammo that I don't need. So let's also get rid of all of that. I've been overweight for so long. And I have yet to use that stupid gun just to even show it off. Keep a few gamma rounds again. I keep forgetting I have this gun. And I keep forgetting I want to just like, oh, let's just show off that gun. Now, also, something I forgot. 
Uh, does the other guy have any addictol? We don't have a doctor, but Blue Jay should be selling stuff. I think of buying from the cats as a donation towards a more cool commonwealth. What do you say? I've got a few minutes to browse. You do have a dick doll. Excellent. You don't have any antibiotics, but oh well. Let's just do that, and that will really help because we can get over this stupid buff out addiction. There we go, just mildly dehydrated. Good. Now then, I can use the armor modifications. Here's a question. One. Jacket and jeans. Oh, it replaces all of my chest armor. Why do so many s things do that? I'm so glad that, that in the new Fallout they're not going to do that. You can wear ornamental stuff. I want to see if there's a bed in here somewhere that I can use now that I am an Adam cat. I'm not sure, but I want to just see. Because it'd be nice to save. And then I think that's going to do it for today. Yes, I can use this bed. Excellent. I'm going to head back up towards Hangman's Alley. So we're going to start over there next time. Because there's nothing else to do. But I want to just get prepped for the next bit of questing. I'm, I'm going to travel with Dance, I think, for a bit. We're going to go drop off all that stuff at the Brotherhood. Uh, I'm going to see... First, I'm going to stop by the railroad, I guess, and see if we've got anything else new there, but I don't think so, and then we'll go turn in all that stuff we've been doing for the Brotherhood with dance, and then it's probably time to go take on the Glowing Sea, which I need to get prepped for, and I want to try to do without power armor, just for fun, but that'll be next time. Uh, probably not getting the Glowing Sea then, maybe doing some prep work in Glowing Sea in the episode after that, I hope. Anyway, we've taken a very long time to do all, to do too many quests, uh, but I hope that you've enjoyed, uh, Fallout 76 stuff should either already have been out or be out soon, so let me know what you think of that. I'm, I'm spending a lot of time pre-recording this stuff so I can get ahead and have and keep both series going for as long as possible. Yeah. So hopefully that will work out. But uh, I hope that you enjoyed. My name is Gepwin. Like, subscribe, all the YouTube things. Thank you very much for watching, and I, of course, will see you next time.